What's going on guys? My name is Roscoe. Thank you again for tuning into my channel. So I want to go over some hype sneaker releases that's going down in October. I want to cover it all in this video from Adidas, Nike, and Jordan brand. At least some of the shoes that's kind of got me excited. So without further, let's just dive into it because it's quite a few. So let's go. Now let's just start off with Adidas. Now on October 12th, they're doing a collaboration with Daniel Arshims, if I'm saying that correctly on the Adidas Futurecraft 4D silhouette. It's right here, it's kind of like that minty green colorway. Uh, the 4D sole is absolutely crazy and intense. Um, this is retailing, again, really expensive for a price of $450, uh, which is justified because I believe this silhouette, or well, just that sole in general, is really, really difficult to make for them, and it's, you know, it's more expensive for them to make too as well. So you can see where it justifies the price point. But I really like this whole, this the future basically, the future of shoes and where it's going and I like how Adidas is taking it to like the next level as far as like runners are concerned. And I plus I want, I want to check out the comfort, like how comfortable are these, uh, this new technology, you know what I mean? So that's that's why I've been, always been interested in this shoe. Uh, I don't think this is ever going to be like a silhouette that's going to be a huge GR one day, maybe, I don't know. But right now, no, not at all. These are going to be very limited. Uh, so 450 bucks. I believe they are, like anything that's 4D sole is reselling for a ton of money too on StockX. So, but that's dropping on October 12th again for 450 dollars. Now the big news, the big news that dropped earlier this week is that we finally got a release date for this Yeezy 700 in the Moi colorway. Now that's dropping on October 27th for a retail price of 300 dollars. Finally, when we got a release date, I was super excited because. It's been a uh, colorway in the 700s uh, that I've been looking forward to for a while now. Uh, now a lot of people ask me like, what do I think about this? Uh, it's just it looks like a it's just a tougher colorway. You know what I mean? And, like a tougher shoe to wear for us guys uh, rather than like the the wave runners. I thought the wave runners like a lot when girls wear them they kill it, but I felt like this colorway here in general is just a more tougher tougher look to the silhouette. Um, I definitely like the whole vibe of it, how it's, you know, this dark purplish brown color with some accents of, you know, that graphite black, which is really nice, and that hint of kiwi on the bottom of the sole. It's a really comfortable shoe in general. I don't know how limited this uh, this will be, uh, but if you guys want to know stock numbers, guys, follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot of that information when it comes to, when, it, when I get it, in my stories, so you guys can go check that out if you want. Uh, but these are a must cop, absolutely must cop, and I know a lot of people, uh, I know a lot of my subscribers are very interested in this shoe. So it's coming, guys, no worries, it's coming October 27th, and I will be dropping some more videos about this shoe once we get closer to the release date. So, and then on another shoe that I'm really excited about, actually it's coming too, is on October 25th, they're releasing these two as well, is the Ultra Boost Mids. These Mids, they're finally bringing these back to the States. Now, what I mean by that is I believe these shoes already released at select retailers overseas. So now we finally get a U.S. release date here. It's coming in like that. Well, the, this one right here reminds me of the Kith uh, collaboration that they did a while back uh, with that like purple. Well, it's not like purple, purple, but like the red, the blue, and like that whole multicolor feel for this one. And then the, the, the one that I'm really excited about is like this icy, I call it the icy drip shoe <laughs> because it's like that. Uh, blue, green, and some grays and some whites in it. It looks really, really nice. Um, it's coming in. It's I believe both of them are retailing for two hundred and twenty dollars, which is the typical Ultra Boost mid price point. Um, I definitely like this shoe. I think it's super. It's a super comfortable silhouette in general. How it's all prime knit upper, and especially that uh, the lockdown around the ankle. I love the knit around the ankle. So it's really, a, really a nice shoe. I definitely. I'm gonna try to cop this one for you guys and give you guys a review. But yeah, that's coming October 25th. Now, we also, there's another Dragon Ball Z collaboration. It's still going on. Uh, the next versus, versus match is between Gohan and Cell. Now, that pack is dropping October 27th. Yes, it is. So, the, the Gohan is actually coming in this purple, uh, what do they call it? The Adidas Dropped. So, it's right here, the Adidas Dropped, and then the Cell is coming in the Adidas Pro Fear. These, I believe, are going to be extremely limited again, just like the, Go the Gokus and the Frezzas that dropped uh, a few days ago. They were very limited, to be honest. There was only like 2,500 pairs available for each silhouette on Adidas US. So I expect it to be the same here. And I also expect, 
I know like the the, the Adidas Derups in the cells, uh, not the cells, the Profiers, they were like, they, those silhouettes usually go for like $120 to $100. I expect them to be like $150 easy because it's a collaboration and like the whole, they did the boxes and then they put more money into the box and you know, so that, and you know, so you can stack them up and make a mural and everything like that. But again, unfortunately, I think these are going to be extremely limited again. I believe too, the Goku, the Gokus and the Frezzes are already like reselling for triple. So again, if you guys are interested in this model, especially you resellers out there, these are definitely, you're going to make your money on these ones. Uh, for me though, it's a pass on the Gohans, but I'm interested in the Profiers. I like the Profiers. I actually have a pair. So you guys can prove it. I have the original colorway. I actually like this shoe. I really do. It's super comfortable. I like the whole chunky vibe, to be honest. Um, the only thing is about this one, they made so many colorways that they kind of just killed it. You know what I mean? There's like 100 colorways already of this shoe, I feel like, when it just really just came out. But yeah, so I like that one. I might be interested in it. I kind of like the whole colorway, too, of that silhouette with the purple and the green. But uh, we'll see. We'll see when that drops. I might be broke by the end of the month, so we'll, we'll see. But that's with Adidas. So that's everything that's dropping in October that uh, it's kind of got me hyped up for with Adidas. So let's go on to Nike. Now Nike, Nike's having a strong month again this this October. Uh, well, Nike and Off White. Let's just say, first we finally they're finally coming. They're they're finally coming on October third. The Off White Nike Blazers, the Hollows Eve pack is dropping October third at uh, select retailers. Uh, right now they're not posted yet on the sneakers app, which I assume right, I assume they're, it's gonna be a shock drop. And if you're not familiar with the shock drop, that just means that they can drop at any point, at any time throughout this week. I'm leaning towards Tuesday, maybe, because the last couple of, I think the off-white drops were on a Tuesday, so maybe Tuesday, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure, but for me, these orange cream skull ones are absolutely fire. Uh, someone actually called me out in my videos and said I wear too much orange, but orange is my favorite color, so I'm a sucker for orange shoes, man. I have to get these. These are sick. Uh, the black and white ones are just as dope. I think those are cool. Um, I've been rocking blazers since like high school, so I, I have to. I have to get a pair. Uh, there's rumors. The rumor around the stock levels, there's supposed to be about 40000 in each uh, colorway. Is that extremely limited? No. But unfortunately, when you have bots that take like 100 to 200 pairs sometimes, yeah, it gets really extremely limited. Um, so those are dropping October 3rd for $130. Um, what I'll do too for you for you guys, uh, any like online retailers that's doing um, some raffles, I'll put those links down below so you guys can enter those. Uh, I know, hey, it's a long shot, but it's worth a chance, right? So I'll do that for you guys. But again, those are coming. I want them. It's a must cop. Definitely a must cop. Uh, another off-white silhouette that's dropping the following week. Now, this one's dropping, let me see, on 10-8. Now, the one I'm talking about is the off-white Converse Chucks. So this is the second uh, second version of it. The first one, I really wasn't too... I really didn't care for that one that much. The first, the first one was that all see-through kind of plastic vibe. Uh, those were dope, but I like these ones so much better, these new ones. Um, I'm I'm a huge Chuck fan. I have a pair of the Kith Coca-Cola Chucks. I am also, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, the home of Converse, so I always got to represent Converse. Um, I think this silhouette is dope. I think the whole, the, the whole, like, well, just the whole colorway to one of this, the all white with the diagonals all around the sole. Dope, very dope. I, it's a must, it's a must for me. Um, especially from like a style point as far as fashion is concerned you can style a chuck so many ways It's so easy to and I like how the bottom I believe the bottoms are orange on these shoes as well uh, These are a must cop for me. I'm gonna try to go for them. I don't know the stock levels on these at all So but again extremely limited and then when they sell out They'll probably resell for like seven or eight times more than what they'll what they're going for what they retail for so guys Those are coming October 8th uh, another Nike Actually, a bunch of Nike shoes are coming. Uh, what I mean by that is like, so the Air Force Ones. The NBA season, yes. The NBA season is starting soon. So what they do every year, I believe, is that they drop a bunch of Nike Air Force Ones in honor of a bunch of NBA teams. Well, this year, we're getting the Lakers. Uh, they're doing Lakers, Bulls, uh, Miami, and I believe uh, they're doing also mids, too. I saw that they're doing mids. Um, oh, the Golden State. Well, of course, they're going to all do the big teams. But they're coming. Those are cool. They're 110 bucks. I think typical 
uh, Air Force One price. Um, I, I'm excited for NBA season. I'm a huge NBA fan. Uh, Boston Celtics is my squad. Uh, so I like them. I think they're dope. I like how they like they put like on the back of the Air Force One. It's kind of like this holographic with the NBA logo on the back. So Oh, the, then the Spurs one too. I forgot to mention, they have the Spurs one, even though I don't think they're going to be a good team this year because they lost Kawhi and a bunch of other guys. But those are nice. And I like how it's like a mini swoosh and the swoosh is kind of like highlighted. So if you're a huge NBA fan and you like the Air Force Ones, I recommend getting a pair because they're pretty cool. And then it helps you, you know, you can represent your squad uh, for this upcoming NBA season. So those are actually dropping on October 4th. So that's coming this week. So October 4th for $110. So be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for those. Another shoe I want to mention in this video for Nike that actually kind of caught me by surprise, but it's got me, you know, got me intrigued is this. Uh, the Nike Air, Air Zoom Fly SP. Now, it's not like a normal SP. Uh, it's actually this, it's like an undercover collaboration. Um, it's with, uh, it's called, they call it the, I might even, I'm gonna butcher it, the Geshus or something like that, the Geshus. Uh, but it's coming in three colorways a black, a purple, and this blue. Um, I want, I love the Nike SB Zoom Flies. I think they're dope. And then it's got that see through. I know everyone loves that see through upper where you can see your socks. Well, these ones have it. Um, and then they have the bones too, the bones crosses on the side of the shoe. It's really cool, really unique. They're kind of expensive though for $190 that they're going to retail for. Uh, these will sell out. Anything that's like collaborations and anything like that, especially with undercover, well, they will sell out. These will sell and have some good resale value. I like them. I, I had the Zoom Flies in the off-whites. Unfortunately, I had to sell those because they didn't fit because ugh, I just didn't get the right size. I needed to size down on those. So if I do cop these, I know I'm going to have to size down, get like 11 and a half. But I like them. I like this whole silhouette too. It's perfect too if you like into like trainers and runners and everything like that. It's cool. I like the design on it. It's a must cop for me. So that is all with Nike. So now there's two Jordans that kind of caught my eye for this month that's dropping. Uh, the first one is dropping on October 6th. And that's the Air Jordan 6 Tinkers. Now those are coming uh, for $190. They're already posted up on the sneakers app. Uh, for me, it's a pass. I really don't care for the Air Jordan 6. The only Air Jordan 6 that I really like is the maroon colorway. I think that one's fire. Uh, this one's okay to me. It's I just liked how it's a different sort of gray on the toe box and on the sides. And then you have like an all white and then the blue and then the red. It looks cool. I like it, but it's not my favorite colorway in the 6. Like I said, the maroons are. So this is going to be a pass for me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm curious to see how good these will sell. The last kind of Tinker uh, collaboration that they did, the Tinker 3s, uh, really didn't sell too well. But then again, they restocked them like 100 times. So who knows? Uh, again, these are retailing for $190 and they're coming October 6th. Uh, the main Jordan that I'm really looking forward to this month is the Air Jordan 33 Future Flight. Those look absolutely sick. I'm a huge fan of the new Jordans. I know not a lot of people are. But... I'm not a huge fan of the new Jordans for styling purposes. I'm big into fitness and working out and going to the gym, and I love wearing the new Jordans. I've been wearing the Air Jordan 31s, the Chinese New Year's. Uh, so I've been rocking those, and then I'm hoping maybe I can cop a pair of these, and this will be like my new gym shoe. Uh, supposedly this shoe takes, uh, takes a little bit from the Air Jordan 3, how it says like the Nike Air on the back, and it has like a, the, the Jumpman on the front of the tongue. Um, I like it too, especially how like the futuristic of it, how you can pull it and it tightens your shoe and then there's like a for lockdown and then locks down your foot and then there's like a release button so you can just slide your foot right out. I really like the design of that. That's really cool. I like how it's like a no lace shoe uh, and it's like a bungee cord type deal. And I, I really like this all white kind of colorway too in general for this one. So this one's probably going to be my, my main Jordan cop for the month. Uh, this one's again, this one's dropping, what's this step? It's dropping uh, October 18th. That's it. So this one's dropping October 18th for a price of 175 So, guys, that's my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. And like always, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.